welcome my minions to another the city of final fantasy opera omnia video today we're going to be covering the armor exchange and the artifacts so i know i covered it a little bit in the minion uh, the one million download the minion the one million downloads celebration video that i did um but today we're going to go more in depth on how to get the exchange of the the armor tokens because i had a couple of viewers asking me on twitch and a couple of people commenting on some YouTube videos I have how to get the armor tokens. So let's let's hop right in and read this opening campaign that just popped up when we opened the game. So this is them saying that they gave away five armor tokens for the release of the armor exchange. So when you log in today, you will have five tokens, so you can use to buy one piece of uh, one piece of five star armor. Uh, I myself am going to use it on Squall. Because I want, I want to maximize. He's probably my best character right now. Let's see. Um, until Wednesday, March 14th, celebrate the opening of Armor Exchange. All players will receive a one-time gift of five armor tokens as a login bonus this period. So you have to log in before March 14th. If you log in after, you won't get the five armor tokens. And we exchange them at the AT Exchange for a five-star armor. Blah blah blah. We know that already. Okay, so. That was really generous of, a, of them. I'm so glad that we got this already. Like I said in a previous video, it took them four to six months to release this on JP, and we got this already. And artifacts, man. That is insane. And we got the co-op event for character events now, which didn't release in JP till about same thing, four to six months after. That That's insane. So I am going to get my five, my five uh, armor tokens right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to get more armor tokens, okay? If you go to your missions... Right now, with the Balthier event, if you go to events on your missions, the rewards, uh, on the Balthier event, I already got a couple, but if you do the level 70 quest event, the Balthier event, the level 70, I'm going to be doing a separate video on what's the best characters to use on the event to make it really easy, because I see a lot of people are struggling doing that event, so I'm going to make a video covering on how to do the event the best way, the easiest way with the best characters. In my opinion, best characters. If you want to do another character, be my guest, but you're probably going to have a hard time. So anyway, here we go. If you get 100,000, I'm pretty sure 50,000, you got one. I already got it, I think, the 50,000 one. It was the one that just, yeah, 50,000, you get one. 100,000, you get another one. Then they have here a million, you get three. Is there more? Okay, yeah, there is more. Hold on, I know there's more. I think it was on the actual events here. I think this should be right here. Okay, this shows all the rewards. If you go here to the Balthier event info, it'll show you all the rewards you get. That's the artifacts. The artifacts you can only get from level 70 uh, event quest. We'll get to the artifacts in a second. First, let's keep going with the armor tokens. Okay, 100,000 armor token. Then 500,000 uh, 500, armor tokens. So that's two. And then you get one million, you get three armor tokens. So that's a total of five. So that'll make you be able to get another piece of armor so you'll be able to get two pieces of armor as of right now um let me think maybe I, they might let's we don't know so Ico might release with with a co-op event as well we don't know if they're gonna be doing this all the time uh going forward it, it was like every other week i think they did on jp so we'll see but as of right now event rewards right now is the only way to get the tokens unless they give it away in login bonuses okay guys now we're gonna be going over the artifacts Okay, I already have a 4-star artifact that's almost limit broken for Balthier. Now, I know people are saying uh, the 2-star and the 3-star 1 artifacts give you different passives. Don't waste your time. It is not worth it. In my opinion, do, do, just go for the 4-star. The 4-star gives you way better passives than the 2-star and 3-star. Two two the 2-star two and 3-star, in my opinion, are a waste of time. Just use them to feed into your 4-stars. Your four stars will give you passives like plus 130 defense instead of 20 defense. You know, it, the the two star and three star I think is like 40 defense, and then the three star is probably 60 defense. The four star is the best passive you can possibly get for your character. And the way you use these, if if you guys don't know yet, the way you enhance these is by using other artifacts. Obviously, the ones that are meant for Balthier give you a, bit, a better bonus towards XP. As of right now, I'm only missing one more 4-star. I did the uh, level 70 event quest last night a couple of times. We beat it 5 times. So I got lucky and got 3 of them. And then I got a couple more for um, 
Edge and Balthier. So Edge, Edge and Terra, sorry. So on this event, the only artifacts you can get as of right now is Balthier, Edge, and Terra. So those are the only ones you can get on this event. So what you do is, you get two stars and three stars. Do not waste your time limit breaking them. I'm telling you, it's a waste of time. The passes are not as good as four stars. Use them to feed into your four stars, <laughs> like so, and it levels them up. Obviously, if you use a Balthier one, you get a little bit better XP. I'm pretty sure you get a little bit better XP. And uh, even the three stars, use them to feed in. It'll make it a lot quicker leveling these things up instead of just waiting around for you know, leveling every two and three stars. It's just a waste of time. Some more info for you guys who don't know before we end this video. I want to keep this video a little short. The four stars right here, like I was saying, see? Uh, defense plus 126 and break brave up. That's the passes you get from a four star artifact. Now you can only have three passes from artifacts at a time. So you would have to switch it out if you find a better one. That instead of defense, if you want attack and you want to, if you have three defense ones and you want to put three attack ones or two attack ones in the HP one or max bravery, you can switch them out. So right now you can only do, uh, I've, right now you can't even really use these to be honest until they raise a CP cap. People are already hurting as it is to not even be able to use all their passives because they don't have limit break weapons and armor. As of right now, that is the only, you know, it, this is just for the future. Just prepare for the future is, is what I'm saying. And here, let's go down some more. The three passives, yep, I just went over that. Attempting to obtain additional passives abilities in this way will give the option of discarding the new passive ability for or overwriting an existing passive ability, yes. so. Like I was just saying, you can only have three at a time, but you can overwrite one of them if you want to. Once the pass is obtained, selling or using that artifact with that granted the passive ability as an enhancement material will not remove the passive ability from the character's pos uh, passive ability pool. So what this is saying is, even if you sell the artifact after you get the passive for your character, it, the passive don't go away. So once you unlock the passive, that's it, you can sell it if you want to. And then, yep, we covered the armor tokens. Yeah, we already covered that. Right now, it just says co-op quest event missions. That's the only way we can get them, like I was explaining earlier. Yeah, guys, so that is going to be it for the video. I just wanted to cover really quickly on the armor tokens and artifacts. And just to give you guys a little bit more info, and please, like I said, don't waste your time on the two-star and three-star artifacts. It is not worth. The four stars, in my opinion, are way better. You won't be able to use them right now because the CP is pretty high on them. I think it's eight or ten. Um, but... In the future, you will, and they will come in handy in the future. They will boost your characters up so much once they raise a CP cap, once we get these 35 CP we weapons. And, uh, by the way, guys, we're actually expecting the 35 CP weapons by April 1st. If, if we get it early, I will let you guys know, because we got this pretty early, so I'm thinking we're going to get the 35 CP weapons pretty early, huh? This, this is amazing what this community is doing. I'm loving this. Oh, you know what? Before I end the video, let me let me go over here real quick. Huh? Let's go over here real quick. I'm going to actually get Laguna, I think. What do you guys think? Laguna? I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you liked the content. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Becoming a member of the Legion today. And uh, I'll put my Twitch link down below if you want to watch my Twitch. I'm live about five times a week. Sundays I do a really long stream. I'm mostly live at night. Uh, we we always play in the city on there. I'm always doing co-op. And if you ever have any questions, guys, just put them in the comment section down below. I'm always in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Legions.